share a video about uh, how to take uh, mission link clearance especially we concentrate uh, today's video on taking butt clearance for mission rings butt clearance you can call it as uh, ring gap also so uh, whenever we do the mission overall we have to take the mission ring clearances so this is to ensure your mission rings or within the limit the wear is not out of reach there is uh, some recommended value from the maker so you have to follow the values or within the maker's recommended range so if it is exceeding definitely you have to go for a new mission ring if it is within the range you can use it back so each piston will be having a four rings in that the top three will be named as compression ring the last ring will be named as oil scraper ring so to make it very simple i would like to show only how to take a ring cap or butt clearance in a piston so since i don't have a liner to give you exactly how to take i have a liner tool so i will uh, explain you how to take a piston ring clearance by this so it is also almost same like uh, liner only so you can easily understand it so this is our top ring this top ring will be always having this groove this kind of groove will be there so when you want to take the reading all you need to do is uh, you have to insert the piston ring inside the liner like this so you can see yeah i am inserting the liner so this is how the ring should be placed inside the liner so for this top for this top ring the measurement should be between this two gap the gap between this two you call it as butt clearance or ring gap so this is for the top ring so this is your top ring so when you want to take the clearance you have to insert the piston ring inside the liner like this inside the liner like this okay so when the piston ring is inside the liner in this position the gap between this two the gap between this two you call it as butt clearance this two you can take a measurement using your uh, vernier calipers or you can take a scale for measuring so you can see here this gap the gap between this two is called as but butt clearance or ring gap so this one you can take it for the top ring for taking a butt clearance in top ring this two gap this two clearance you have to measure so i will show you the other three rings butt clearance how to measure okay this is your second ring so all the other three rings will be in this same type only they don't be having that uh, group which we saw in uh, first two ring so i show you how to take the butt clearance for this okay again again you have to insert the piston ring inside the liner different the uh, gap between this two is called as butt clearance or ring gap so this is how you have to measure the clearance mean a uh, ring gap clearance or butt clearance for the piston ring okay so the different the distance between this and this the gap this gap is called butt ring gap or butt clearance so earlier i told you have to 
take the measurement and compare with the maker's measurement so you can see here yeah, here this is your maker's measurement suppose i have four rings so each rings have the measurement so it can it should be within 2.4 to 2.7 and if the reading is 3.5 and above then you have to change the piston ring so you have to always ensure you are making your uh, readings according to the maker's uh, recommended value so okay so i believe uh, after watching this video you must be having some idea about uh, how to take ring gap or uh, bunt clearance for a piston if you have any doubt on this please put your comment on comment box definitely i will reply you thanks for watching